Hello everyone, welcome to the 2020-2021 graduation ceremony. My name is Ibudani Priambodo. And I'm Pat Tommy Gilbert, and we will be your MCs today. When de deciding on MCs for this event, it was quite an easy choice. Our venerable MYP coordinator, and that one teacher who always wears a bow tie. Graduation is always an important step in any student's life. Uh, it signifies the end of a journey that began many years ago, whether it was in kindy, reception, or year one. It also signifies the start of a new and exciting journey. One that will bring new experiences, new adventures, and the next step in your lives. Absolutely, Ibu Dani. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Ibu Riyama Sinuraya to lead us in the national anthem, Indonesia Raya. lovely, don't you think you would, Danny? Absolutely. And now please join me in a welcoming to the stage our head of school, Pak Cory Carson. Hi there. Hi, Pak Cory. Oh, are you guys ready for graduation? Uh, Pak Cory, you're late. What? I'm late? I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. students, parents, families, faculty, and special guests. Good afternoon. 
and welcome to the high school graduation ceremony for Global Jaya Schools class of 2021. My name is Corey Carson and I proudly serve as the head of school for Global Jaya. We come together on this special occasion to honor the hard work and dedication that has resulted in another 100% graduation rate for our year 12 class. The efforts put forward have come not only from the students, but from you, faculty and parents, all of whom who have worked collaboratively to bring our year 12s to this point in their academic careers. To the entire Global Jaya School faculty, both present and past, you have instilled in our graduates a thirsting desire to question, to analyze, and to synthesize information beyond the classroom. To Ibu Dwi, Pak Ram, Ibu Ingrid, Ibu Joanne, Pak Steve, Pak Eddie, and Ibu Vicky, we thank you for your leadership in guiding our seniors through their final year of high school while helping them prepare to make the transition to their life after Global Jaya. On behalf of all our year 12 students and parents, I say to you, thank you. To the parents of our graduating year 12s, your love, your commitment, and your dedication to these young men and women have translated into a certificate of completion from Global Jaya. In providing this opportunity, you have gifted them with a solid foundation upon which they will build their future successes. On behalf of the students and the faculty, I say to you, thank you. This year's graduation class, 88 students in total, are exceptional people. You are examples of global-minded individuals who role model the IB Learner Profile attributes. You're communicators, caring, knowledgeable, open-minded, and balanced. But you're also unique in many ways for your artistic aptitudes, athletic talents, your resilience, and your abilities to overcome personal and academic challenge. I believe these characteristics will make you outstanding leaders and contributing community members wherever you may choose to live. As you prepare to enter the world as young adults, humanity is faced by unparalleled challenges, hunger, environmental degradation, poverty, terrorism, war, disease, and great ignorance. And you know what? It has always been this way. Of course, there is much that inspires hope in our world, kindness, compassion, creativity, honor, and courage. And you know what? It has always been that way too. What keeps our world from haplessly falling apart is the balance in which these different aspects of our reality exist at any given moment in time. As long as what is good and positive outweighs that which is cruel and destructive, our world will continue to advance. This delicate balance can only be sustained by seeking to become the best versions of ourselves that we can be and by developing and living on a daily basis a set of guiding truths. During your time at Global Jaya, we've made efforts to ingrain these truths in every one of you. What exactly is it that we have tried to teach you? We've tried to teach you that the satisfaction and enjoyment comes when you apply your minds to worthy tasks in creative ways. You have hopefully learned to approach each new endeavor with a sense of excitement and with an open mind. We have tried to teach you the power of words, for words can create or destroy. You have hopefully learned to choose your words with care. We have tried to teach you the importance of acquiring knowledge in diverse areas of study, for it is this knowledge that will enable you to continue shaping your lives and making sense of our world. You have hopefully learned to never stop learning. We have tried to teach you that the creative impulse, as expressed in art, film, music, theater, and literature, is an essential part of what it means to be human. You have hopefully learned the importance of the arts as an expression of the human spirit. We have tried to teach you to strive for excellence in all you do, not perfection, but excellence. You've hopefully learned to always do work of which you can be proud. We have tried to teach you to not only how to value friendship, but how to be a good friend. You have hopefully learned to treasure the lifelong friendships you have made at Global Jaya School. We've tried to teach you that you are each special, unique, and of an infinite worth. You have hopefully learned to respect and value yourself and other people. We have tried to teach you the necessity of being vigilant regarding your rights and the rights of others, to stand up for yourself as well as to stand up for others. You've hopefully learned a sense of greater responsibility. 
We've tried to teach you that you are part of a larger world community in which you have responsibilities and which you are integrally connected. You have hopefully learned to get involved. And finally, we've tried to teach you to never compromise the integrity of your own mind or your own spirit. You have hopefully learned to always be true to yourselves. Above all else, I hope it is the development of these truths, along with the accompanying life lessons learned, that you will take with you and that constitutes the legacy of your time at Global Jaya School. My charge to you as you graduate is to continue to build upon these truths and in doing so, add your measure of good to our world. The choices we make, the kindnesses we extend, the ways we apply our minds and our hearts can make a difference in our world. We may not always see it, but each drop of goodness is added to a larger pool and its impact, while not always apparent, is real nonetheless. As Harriet Tubman was quoted as saying, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change our world. My charge to you is to make your dreams have a tangible effect on our world. If you do, eventually our world will be covered in enough kindness and enough wisdom that we will see a transformation. We have a vision of what this world should look like. We know where we want to go, but it's up to you to help get us there. We live in a world in need of repair, and my charge to you is to do your part to help repair it. To effect positive change in our world, you will use your minds and your hearts. You are fortunate to have fertile minds and caring hearts. Hopefully your time at Global Jaya School has made you brighter people, but also better people. I believe that it has. With your caring hearts and your fertile minds, I know you will make a difference. Your teachers and I feel blessed to have known you during your time at Global. You are special young men and women. Take what you've learned at Global Jaya School and carry it with you into the future and help transform our world. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you so much for those wise words, Pakori. And now, please allow me to introduce Pa Steve Spannering, our secondary expatriate principal, to share his thoughts with the graduates. Teachers, parents, members of leadership, directors, members of the board, and most importantly, students. It is an honor and a privilege to address you all today, and I thank you for the opportunity. Friday, March 13th, 2020 is not likely to be earmarked as a pivotal day in the annals of humankind, but it is a date of great importance for all of us. In case you don't remember March 13th, 2020, please allow me to set the scene. It was a hot, humid day in the greater Jakarta area. A gentle breeze delighted the senses, providing a modicum of respite from the heat and carrying with it a bountiful bouquet of frangipani and bougainvillea. The sun fought to penetrate the morning clouds, finally breaking through, revealing a gorgeous azure afternoon sky. Now I know what you're thinking. Pastive, you could be referring to almost any day in the history of the greater Jakarta area. We live in the tropics. It's always hot. It's always humid. Sometimes it's sunny. Sometimes it's cloudy. There's usually a breeze. What's your point? And you're right. In fact, I didn't remember any of that. I had to look it up. Because March 13th, 2020 was just another day in the greater Jakarta area. It was also the last day any of you set foot in a Global Jaya classroom for a face-to-face -face lesson. A real face-to-face -face lesson with your teachers and your peers. It was the last time you walked out of a Global Jaya classroom at the end of the school day, probably looking forward to the weekend, probably looking forward to the term break, and probably expecting to be back on campus on March 16th for another marvelous Monday at Global Jaya. And why wouldn't you expect that? We all expected that. What actually happened is that on March 14th, we had an emergency meeting during which GJS leadership collaboratively crafted a letter that said on March 16th, we would begin our transition to online learning. Shortly after we sent that letter, 
all schools in our area were mandated to move to online learning. So on March 15th, we sent another letter that said, in part, we would evaluate the situation for a potential return to on-campus learning on March 30th. On March 18th, that date was extended to April 9th. On May 10th, we announced that the 2019-2020 school year would end online. I don't think at that time that any of us imagined that the 2020-2021 school year would end the same way. However, here I am in a nearly empty theater on April 30th, 2021, recording a speech that you were all watching on June 9th. Needless to say, your senior year was not what you expected. But don't look back on 2020 or 2021 with anger, frustration, or regret. While forces beyond your control robbed you of the educational experience you expected, those forces did not rob you of an education. You've learned to be more independent and how to better manage your time. You've learned to find creative solutions to problems you didn't know existed until your internet went down in the middle of a summative assessment. You've, main, you've maintained and developed social relationships while social distancing. You've made difficult decisions about your future without any concrete idea about what the future holds. You've had to balance school and home at a time when school and home have become the same place. In addition to all of that, in the last 22 months, you have worked to complete one of the most rigorous high school academic programs in the world. And you did it without setting foot in a classroom for the last 15 of those 22 months. I talk a lot about our definition of learning, probably more than most would like if I'm being honest. But I talk about it a lot because I truly believe in it. At Global Jaya School, learning is the lasting growth, change, and development of knowledge, skills, understanding, and behavior. Five minutes ago, how many of you remembered that March 13th was the last time you had a face-to-face -face lesson in a classroom? The date isn't what matters. The bigger picture is what matters. What matters is that on that day, the moment you walked out of your last class, you weren't just stepping out of a classroom and into the hallway. You were stepping out of familiarity and comfort and everything you knew learning to be. And you didn't even know it. At first, it was kind of exciting and fun. Then it got real and challenging and tedious. So what did you do? You did exactly what you learned to do. You grew, you changed, you developed, and you graduated. The key now is to continue to build on the lessons of those past 15 months as you face the exciting and unpredictable world of life after high school. It's not just a pandemic thing. Life is full of surprises, except for today. Today's just another day in the greater Jakarta area. It's hot and humid. There's a gentle breeze. The forecast says it might rain, or maybe it won't, but it probably will. Yep, just another normal day. Then again, it's not even noon yet. Who knows what surprises the afternoon holds? Whatever it is, I have no doubt you're prepared to handle it. And now we will begin the presentation of diplomas to be conferred by homeroom. We will begin with 12A. Abdul Khoiri. Ahmad Fadil Rubis Aiden Tarada Heidi A 
Alicia Sadia Hidayat. Azka and India Arya Satya. Bhagawan Alia Samad. Einstein Rata Gloria Distance Renata Idris Jai Sumut Vogli Nicola Florian Lemuel Satorus. Radia Aradhanya Siddhartha Rafael Hefrani Coman Silan Marika Nanda Putri Vala 
Anandita Maki. Ladies and gentlemen, the students of 12B. Abdul Samad Muhammad Zubair Tangki. Aga Diana Fal Sukerim. Katrina Francina Nurdraven. Farel Wiharso. Flavius Fania. Hejira Raya Amandari Rahmanto. Daneswa Mawira Jasmine Rose Cooper Ha 
Muhammad Rufi Mulya. Bernama Hud. Raden Muhammad Nabil Ramadan Shah Kusuma Wardana. Sergio Aman Sutomo And now the students of 12C. Arsiandi Ranga Ariputra. Axel Ofar Safruden. Serbia. Dafa Fakhrizal Ramadani. Farel Atal Rahmat. Janvi Chat. 
Dr. Vedi. Mohamed Nafal Saidina Praska Keandra Aruman Sergio Francesco Dharma Satyawan Tamara Nilakandi Long Valentine Février Marlov Wanzahim Bin Juan Mohamed Fauzi Yusra Gada Sofyan As we pause in the conferring of the diplomas, it is important to remember that today is not only a celebration of what you have accomplished, but also a look forward to what awaits you when you leave us. You will face good days and bad days, but through it all, it is always important to keep going. The sun will always come out again. This is the kind of perseverance that you have shown throughout not only your diploma years, but your entire life. We encourage you to take that attitude forward into the next year and beyond. 
Now, please enjoy a performance of Tomorrow from the musical Annie by Iburia's Year 10 vocal class. Dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm stuck in a day that's gray and lonely, I just stick out my chin and grin. and the Year 10 vocal class students. I am sure that the Year 12s appreciate your heartfelt song for them and take away the message we are hoping to convey. We will now continue with the presentation of diplomas with the students of 12D. Aira Danendra Sutta Disastra Divyananda Erlanga Mara Aditya Suandi Thank you. 
Gede Bagus Wirya Rahindra Suteja Suranto. Giovanni Andrian Kantawirya Joseph Matthew Hartono. Mahira Jandini Desrino. Mashita Abelina. Mateus Armando Hargo Nainggolan Michelle Angela Hans Victory Datiana Muhammad Dwi Rizky Apolianto Naisha Azahra Prianto Yesaya Immanuel Christopher Lumban Toruan
we will continue the presentation of diplomas for students of 12E. Arvin Mohamed Farsiad. Abirama Satrio Putra Pintoro. Andrea Agneta Gunadi. Bianca Fabiola Zafira Martawardaya. Bian Alerik Rustiono. Chelsea Joan Lodesman. Magfira Priadi. Joaquin Valdez Herrero. Joseph James Carson Eid. Laude Vicente Attila Lemo de Casman. Mm 
Maria Natania Pangastuti. Mohamed Antonio Bagascara Sugirin. Omar Pravira Surjono. Raisa Madira Nur Azari. Raja Dea Triputra. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the students of 12F. Azil Yen Shahrudin. Dante Valesca Ali Diandra Malia Putri Verga Deswaga Zuhri Fitra Rahima
Hijun Park. Kenza Yogasvara Rubismo. Leana Shakira Muhammad Raihan Asani Najla Nurhaika Wicaksono Rainer Fadila Chandra Shahna Halisa Sashifa Faluna Salsabila Kusuma Hindarto Alicia Raga And that concludes the presentation of the diplomas. Well done, none of you tripped this year. May we take this opportunity to again congratulate you on a job well done. Now, we would like to request our beloved head of year 12, Ibu Dwi Astuti, to deliver a few words of wisdom to the graduating class of 2021.
Dear Head of School, Bapak Cory Carson, Principal Pak Steve and Pak Eddie, Fellow Teacher, Proud Parents, and above all, the student of the class 2021. My name is Ibu Dwi, and it is an honor to be the head of year of the classes 2021. I'd like to open my commencement by asking for apology from Pak Cory, as I will use the quote from a different head of school. It is your, it's our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Yes, it was Albus Dumbledore, the head of school of Hogwarts, who said that to Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. And yes, making the right choices is part of important quality of being adult. Let me tell you a memory. It was in the cast trip to Lampung in 2019. In every trip, anak-anak, your safety is our number one priority. So, one night on that trip, I was patrolling together with Ibu Widi around the hotel, checking every student's room after the curfew. It was past 11 p.m., and I find out that there were a group of female students who were missing from their rooms. We checked with our fellow teachers whether they had seen them in the Indomart, which is located just across from the hotel. No, they were not there. Before I made a more dramatic scene, we decided to check every room one more time. But this time, we were not only knocking and going inside the student's room, but I decided to open each bathroom door. And yes, I found them hiding in one of the bathrooms in their friend's room. When they were caught red-handed, I remember that I just gave them my Budwi special look edition. And then I sent them back to their bed. In the morning, these girls came to see me, apologizing and promising to be more thoughtful in their action in the future. I was touched by their honesty and sincerity. That reminded me of the fact that I work with teenagers who still make mistakes and need to learn how to make right choices. They do possess many wonderful qualities, but how can I teach them to choose their action wisely? Will they be able to grow and embrace the unpredictable future of adult life within two years? Eventually, that trip proved me that I'm about to lead a group of beautiful young people. I was amazed with their spirit, their cohesiveness as a group, their playfulness as youth, and their marvelous can-do attitude. From cleaning the mushola, painting the posyandu office, repairing the roof of a library in the village, writing so many state names, even they repaired the water system of toilets. When they were assigned to do those tasks, they did not ask why, nor they complain. They just accept it and do it right away. Life provides challenges that are unpredictable. Having the final year in the home-based learning style is surely not as enjoyable as you wish for. But you have shown me that you can choose the right way to adapt with the situation and adopt the virtues of independent learners. This situation has challenged you to be committed to your schoolwork with or without teachers supervising you as much as we used to. Your cash learning outcomes are completed. You submitted your extended essay, your TOK, all the IAs, and the IB obligation. Of course, there are some bruises and struggles, but you did not give up. You keep going, and eventually, you are done. You have proved to yourself that you can do that. Most of the time, anak-anak, the best teaching method is to let the learners really experience it by themselves. When you experience struggles, you invent more than one way to solve problems. You have the choices not to play victims. When you feel down, sad, and lonely, you have the choice to practice empathy and value friendships. When you experience mental breakdowns, anxiety, frustration, you have the choice to be humble and seek help, to collaborate with others. You have the choice to be resilient. 
Today you are no longer teenagers. In just a few more minutes, your learning time in Global Jaya School is really going to end. You will go out as an adult who is responsible for your action and expected to contribute positively to society. Stay humble, be open-minded and keep learning. Remember that there is always more than one way to solve problems. Get up quickly whenever you fall. Practice compassion and kindness to whomever you meet. Be thankful. Jadilah pribadi yang tahu terima kasih. You might not be here if not for their support and affection. Choose the right path because your teachers and parents cannot be standing by your side anymore. Your life is now in your hand. Finally, class of 2021. I wish you all the best. May your school life at Global Jaya be an experience that you always keep close to your heart. May you all live long, happy, healthy, and successful lives and pursue your dreams. Let's cross fingers that one day, when everything is under control, we will meet again and have an awesome reunion of class 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for the Subject Excellence Awards. We turn it over to Pa Ram Pandey to present this year's winners. Subject Excellence Award, Class of 2021. Subject Excellence Award in one subject, we have 20 award winners and they are Elisa Korean LLHL, Ains Indo LLHL, Bianca English LLHL, Tamara Indolit SL, Reiski Spanish Abinicio SL, Joseph James Carson Spanish PHL, Vania English PHL, Big One History HL, Visit Economic SL, Aska Chemistry HL, Arvin Chemistry SL, Chelsea Environmental Systems and Society SL, Yesaya Mathematics Analysis and Approaches HL, Janvi Mathematics Applications and Interpretation SL, Kenja Mathematics Analysis and Approaches SL, Jasmine Theater HL, Alicia Theater SL, Idris Music HL, Chandi Film HL, and Abel Visual Arts SL. Subject Excellence Award in two subjects and we have three award winners. They are Hyun O Cho, Korean LLSL, Economics HL, Mika Indolit HL and Bio SL, Rika French Abinicio SL and Psychology HL. We have Subject Excellence Award in three subjects and we have three award winners and they are Omar Indo LLSL, English LLHL, Business Management SL, Rufi Indo B HL, Visual Arts HL, Physics SL, Aga Spanish P SL, Physics HL, and Business Management HL. Subject Excellence Award in five subjects and we have one award winner and he is Che Yun Kim, Indo B SL, Psychology SL, Bio HL, Mathematics Application and Interpretation HL and Theory of Knowledge. Congratulations and thank you. The education of a child is in the hands of three different groups of people. The students, the teachers, and of course, the parents. Graduates, 
Your parents have been the true constants in your life. They have raised, supported, and encouraged you. It is fair to say that you would not be where you are today without their support. In that spirit, it is now our honor to introduce Ibu Masayu, our Year 12 parent representative, who has a message for our graduating class on behalf of the parents. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, staff, and the graduating students of 2021. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of the 2021 graduating year's parents. I feel so honored to be able to share my reflection and thought on the past two years on these very happy occasions of seeing our children graduate and enter the next step in their lives. As I prepared this speech, I reviewed again last year's graduation, and I noticed that the wish for it to be the first and the only online graduation has not yet been able to realize. We are still conducting online graduation, which is not the graduation we all envision. We imagine graduation to be this grand celebration where we witness our kids walk across the stage, looking at their happiness as they throw their graduation hats into the air and take a memorable photograph, as this is their last year in Global JS School. Preparing this speech, my mind was brought back to the memory as I walked my son Aska to enter his first year in Global Jaya School. How he was so fragile, yet curious, and also happy to see how big the soccer field was. When that first day of school ended, he brought home so many happy stories regarding how friendly his friends were and how warm and welcoming his teachers were. Now, 12 years have passed. We never imagined that we have to close the book of school year from home. I have been a witness to how wonderful Global JS School is. I have seen students insist on staying at school even though the school hour has ended. Some are doing the after school activities, some are playing or staying in the library. I believe they have treated Global JS School as their second home. Therefore, I would like to give my highest appreciations to the school principals the teachers, and all supporting staff whom I cannot mention one by one in this speech. You all have played a great part in helping our children grow up from toddlers to now becoming young adults. You all taught them responsibility, you gave them knowledge and love, guiding them to achieve their goals every day during school hours, school trips, and many more. I would like to thank each one of you on behalf of all the graduating students' parents for your support and love. Educators are the most rewarding profession. You become part of the journey of the future leaders, the unsung heroes of education, who light their path to success. I also would like to thank my colleagues, fellow parents of the Graduating Students 2021. You have been a very helpful companion during our children's journey in Global Jaya. We have made a great choice to put our children in this school to get their educations and achieve their goals. We have shared lots of stories of how happy, sad, hard, and easy our children enduring studying. And I wish that we can still continue to share our stories of our children when meeting again in the future. I am happy and grateful to become your level representative for the past few years. But I also would like to ask forgiveness if I ever made a mistake during my assistance. Lastly, to all graduating students, I would like to congratulate you for having completed high school. Even though you spent one of those years studying from home, you will remember the hardships, the sleepless nights during your IB years, the discouragement during your online test, but now you have passed and ready for the next challenge on your journey of life. And this year shall become a very important memory. Please be grateful for all your achievement cherish and celebrate them with your family and friends. However, you must keep in mind that the success is nothing without the help of other people around you. Those people supported you, especially your parents and teachers. Please always keep them in your prayers as your sign of gratitude. 
I wish you all an incredible journey ahead. The future leaders, doctors, actors and actresses, directors, scientists, and many more. Reach for the highest star and do not be afraid of failure. I hope the students of the year 2021 are the last batch to have the full year of study from home. They are the batch that experienced so much from the pandemic. So some have lost family and friends during this hard time. They cannot see their friends and teachers and even had to study and do tests online, even though the IB exam were canceled. Still, these situations has shaped new personalities as they will become stronger and resilient to any kind of trouble they will be facing in the future. Once again, I would like to thank the school principals, teachers, especially year 12 teachers, and the supporting staff for being part of the year 2021 family. And to the graduating students of 2021, congratulations and good luck. Thank you for those kind and touching words, Ibu Masayu. And now, it is the opportunity for our 2020-2021 school captains, Arvin and Shahna, to deliver their parting words to and on behalf of their peers. Class of 2021, although gathered virtually, here we are to celebrate and commemorate the start of new beginnings. Granted, if we ask ourselves what we thought our junior and senior years would look like, this is definitely not what we imagined. We should be proud to say that we successfully completed IB in the comfort of our bedrooms, waking up at 729 for 730 advisory, attending classes and tests from our bed, usually at half awake and occasionally falling asleep. Our last experiences in high school were filled with uncertainties. After it became clear that our final exams were cancelled, comes the uncertainty of our mock exams. Seeing as there were no exams to mock, as Pastor Steve said, our mocks later got cancelled as well. And from that, the rest of our senior plans also had to come to a halt. From not being able to have our senior prom, our senior sleepover, and of course, graduation. Hence, we're speaking to you all through a screen right now. As Arvin and I were discussing what to say to you today, we came to a realization that throughout all these uncertainties and changes that we faced the past year, some things remained the same. First is the continuous love and support from our beloved parents. As your children, it is almost our responsibility to be an absolute pain to take care of. You tell us to get a good night's sleep, yet you so often catch us still scrolling on our phones at 3 a.m. You tell us to study, but instead we chat and gossip with our friends. That's just how us children work sometimes. Yet it's funny that you still continue to love us and support us in all that we do. Your never-ending faith in us is what gives us the motivation and drive to achieve our very best. Our confidence comes from your guidance that navigates us through the complicated and honestly really scary world that we live in. Therefore, we can only express our endless gratitude for all that you've provided. We can never repay you for your sacrifices, so the least we can do is make you proud. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, we hope to grow and blossom into better versions of ourselves that make you proud. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, we want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts to our mothers, fathers, and guardians for providing the motivation we need to endure such a challenging IB journey. Thank you for believing in us when it felt like no one else did. Because hey, look at us now. On our graduation day, we all made it thanks to you. And secondly, we have our parents away from home, our teachers, principals, and school staff, who have always been so kind, patient, and considerate. We as students always complain about the difficulties of learning from home, but can't imagine how much more difficult it is for our beloved teachers. Global Jaya's class of 2021 is notoriously known to be difficult to handle. I know our past head of years, Pat Z, Pat Tofan, Ibu Poppy, and of course Ibu Dwi can definitely vouch for this. We are so grateful and honestly awed at how patient you are with us. Again, considering the difficulty of our batch. We would like to apologize for our tendency to be loud and never shutting up. 
We would also like to apologize for sometimes skipping your class, not handing in work on time, or submitting corrupted files, but we promise that it's nothing personal and we promise not to do it again. As difficult as it may be for us to listen, we have the utmost respect and gratitude for you. We hope that as we move on from Global Jaya, you remember us as the children you've once helped raise. And of course, our fellow graduates, our beloved friends, the graduating class of 2021. As much as we've all looked forward to this day, we're finally leaving high school and of course, we're leaving IB, which is definitely exciting. But it also means that we're saying goodbye to each other. We're so lucky to have met so many bright, unique and talented individuals that make up the class of 2021. I haven't met more than half of you face to face for the past year and a half, so we can only reminisce on the memories that we've made. It pains me to say goodbye to all of you. Standing here today, in front of you all, virtually, I didn't realize that we were making memories throughout these past years because we just knew we were having so much fun together. To my friends who I swam with in the river in Chidahu, and to my friends who I met during my journey in Global Jaya, whether I met you in my first year of Global Jaya or just recently in the past year, I want to say thank you. Thank you for making me feel so lucky to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. You know what excites me though, Vin? It's the next time we'll meet all together again and reminisce about our days in Global Jaya. Who knows when it'll be? It could be in five years time, 10 or even 10 years time, and we get to see where we all end up. I'm so excited because I have so much faith in all of you, the graduating class of 2021, that we will pursue great things. That's what makes us special as a year group because again, we're so uniquely different and diverse in talents, skills and personalities that I know we have so much to offer to the world. Now the future awaits, so long for now and until we meet again. Arvin and Shana out. It is now our honor to welcome, for the final time as students of Global Jaya School, Alicia, Yusra, Raisa, Andrea, and Leana. It will then be followed by Abe, Danes, Dindi, and Chani, who will perform Berlari Tanpa Kaki. Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see I'll be the light To guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Ooh. And then you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you If you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you oh. Find out what we're made of And we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.
just posted to I am. Terus berlari tanpa kaki 
Thank you for that lovely performance, everyone. We are almost done, but before we finish, please welcome Pak Johannes Edi Sunaria, our secondary Indonesian principal, to offer some words to the graduates. Yang terhormat para orang tua siswa Unit 12, Head of School, School Board, Principal, Dewan Guru, dan tentu saja yang berbahagia siswa Unit 12. Pada hari ini kita semua berbahagia karena hari ini adalah hari yang istimewa bagi kita semua. Kita akan melepaskan siswa Unit 12 yang telah menyelesaikan pendidikannya di Global Jaya School. Tahun ini juga istimewa karena angkatan 2021 menyelesaikan seluruh pembelajaran kelas 12 melalui online satu tahun penuh. Tidak ada ujian IB diploma dan tidak ada ujian nasional. Tentu saja ini bukanlah hal yang mudah. Banyak tantangan dan hambatan yang mereka hadapi. Namun dengan keteguhan dan kerja keras Para siswa Yur 12 telah melewatinya dengan sangat baik. Kesuksesan itu dapat terwujud tentu saja karena dukungan dari orang tua, teman sebaya, dan para guru yang dengan tekun, sabar, tanpa kenal lelah, mendampingi dan membimbing mereka. Untuk itu, kami mengucapkan terima kasih dan penghargaan yang setinggi-tingginya. Kami juga mengucapkan terima kasih kepada semua pihak yang telah membantu terlaksananya graduation ceremony pada hari ini. In conclusion, I wish you the very best with this exciting phase of your life. Look back with the fondness at the time you have spent here at Global Jaya. And now, You will always be welcome. But look out and beyond and do not limit yourself. Graduate students, formally you are now dismissed. Well, that's it. We are all so incredibly proud of you. You have all worked incredibly hard and now it is time to celebrate. Before we sign off, We would like to take this final opportunity to congratulate all of you and wish you all the best for the future. Don't be strangers. Absolutely. Salamat, everyone. Goodbyes are always so hard. So let's not say goodbye, but rather let's say, see you soon. And always remember, as Bob Dylan said, may your hands always be busy. May your feet always be quick. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. And may you stay forever young. I am Ibudani. And I'm Pat Tommy. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much and, and see you soon. soon. <laughs>